Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to Ark Survival Evolved. Say hi to hmm, the back of my cat's head. Something like that. Anyway, welcome back to Ark. On the last episode, we kind of did something I don't normally do. I don't normally show you those episodes, but I thought I kind of would because, well, it ties directly in with today's episode. So I thought that would kind of make sense if I did it that way. So here we go. I am placing a couple of foundations down and... Yeah, it's a little farther away from the workshop, and there's a good reason for that. I'm going to go ahead and just start slapping stuff down here, and you take a guess while I'm doing this and see if you know what in the world I'm doing. We're going to need to put one of those over there, I think. Ah, crud. I thought I made enough of those. I guess I didn't. That's a shame. We'll go ahead and we'll make some more of those. It won't take too long, I promise, and... If it really starts to take a long time, well, then I will just take a pause and go collect everything on my own, and we won't worry too much about it. So we're going to do that. Don't you hate when you do that? You think you're all ready to go, and you're like, yeah, look at this. I spent all my time. I got all my ducks in a row. And then you realize, nope, I totally didn't do that. Uh, so I'm going to need more thatch, and uh, might as well pick these guys up, too, because I'm going to need some more stones. Dang, I, I thought I had everything. I guess I just blacked out after I... I don't know, whipped up that last thing. I don't think I did the walls first. Maybe I did the walls later. I don't remember the order I did things. I don't know. It's been too long. So here, let's go ahead and collect some of these guys first. We'll chop up some stones. This is going to take me a minute. So I'll tell you what. It's going to take me a few minutes to gather all of these and to get as many stones as I need to create the number of walls I would like. So I'll take my time doing this and I'll be right back with you. So Cat, she's still here. I'll be right back with you. Coming back to the, well what I'm working on. I think I have everything again. We'll see if I do. Here, let's go ahead and pop. You're going to go down right there. You're going to go down right there. You're going to go right there. You're going to go right there. And there we go. You'll go right there. I have an extra one. I think this will actually be okay. We're going to find out because I'm going to play it very dangerously here. So door's going to get placed if I can back up. Right there. There we go. Doors nice and in place. That looks marvelous. And we're going to go ahead and put... Where are you? Did I... Wrong one. Five. Not seven. Dang it. Now I made another door I don't need. Whatever. We'll go ahead and put the window right there, which I really can't see. It's it's too high to really see in, but uh, whatever. I think it'll end up being sufficient. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. So, we're going to head back to the base one more time. I'm going to grab some supplies, and I'm going to join you mm, out in the air. So, see you in just a second. Cat, we'll be back. It's a little cold over here, and there's a Quetzal in the air over there. Check that out. It's level 28. It's one we've seen before or seen multiple times. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure we saw that one in the last episode, though. That, I'm guessing, is an apex cat. That is not why we are out and about today. I cannot see that cat. Whatever. We need to get a little lower to the ground here because I can't really see very well. Snow is blinding as the sun reflects off of it. And I know you can turn the gamma off and all that stuff. And I don't know. I don't like that. Not a fan. I like the way the game looks. Sorry. Blinding sun and snow and all. I like it. Gives it some character. Now, we are, obviously, in the snowy area, so we're in the kind of northwest part of the map. Oh, there's a mammoth up there. I'm going to need to set her down momentarily here, Skyline here. Probably use a little more stamina just to be on the safe side. So let's go ahead and uh, you want to park it right about there. Good. Thank you very much. Get your stamina back. Aha, that might be what I'm looking for down there. I don't think I can see it, though. Let's go get a little closer. Yeah, I know. You're cold, girl. You're cold, so am I. At least you have big, thick feathers to keep you warm. I don't. I'm just wearing a bunch of armor that is really quite useless insofar as insulation is concerned. What are you? Let's find out. What are you? Level 20. You have a mate down there. Might have been one we saw in the last episode, actually. I don't really know. You have a mate somewhere. Where is your mate? Because you have a bonus. You have a little heart. You're in love. That means you have a mate somewhere. I still think that's an apex cat. It's not. Good. I'm wrong. I like being wrong. Do you like being wrong? I love being wrong. In this case, I actually do, because uh, apex cat bad. 
Apex cat, not a good thing for me right now. Aha, there's another wolf. Wolf. What is this wolf? I can't see because I have bird wings in the way. What are you? Come on, get your wings out of the way. Level 16, that is not really all that helpful. Let's, let's go look around a little more. It's not obvious, I'm looking for a wolf today. Just so I can be really clear about that. Yeah, I came out here looking for a wolf. We are going wolf hunting. The reason for that is we already have a cat. And uh, I haven't really researched the engram just yet to make a saddle. I wasn't really planning on doing it just yet. I mean, really, I'd like to get a higher level cat, if I'm going to be honest. That was just kind of a goofing around, have fun. Hey, let's go get a cat that's right there because I was trying things that clearly didn't work. But, you know, minor details aside like that. Oh, man, I'm losing health, too. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, there are some more candidates down there. If I can see through my bird's head. All right, I'm not a big fan sometimes how the spyglass works, but we're, we're going to make do. Level 52. Uh, I might have to do. That's the best we've seen thus far. So let's remember this spot. We're going to come back in just a moment if we can't find something better. Something higher level. In this case, higher level is better. Just because I really do need a high-level wolf for what this is going to be. I, I mean, I guess we could work with a level 58 for the time being, but it's really going to need an upgrade at some point. So I'd really like to go a little higher level just to really kind of save some of that time later of backtracking and doing things all over again. Man, let me take a pause again, because I'm just not having much luck finding high-level wolves and... Well, maybe there aren't any to be found, but I don't want to spend all my time on this episode just flying around again. Looks like this level 60 over here, if it hasn't been killed yet. I think it's this one. Not sure. Here, let's go ahead and pick that one up. There we go. Level 60. I think this is going to have to do for the time being. I just, I'm not really seeing any other high, high-ish, higher, higher-ish. I don't know, something... Not really seeing any big high-level wolves. And 60 will be, I, I hope, sufficient for our purposes. But I can't really guarantee that. There's that T-Rex down there. Pretty sure we saw that on the last one. You are not attacking. Just making sure you're not doing something you shouldn't be doing. Come on. Let's carry on. I'm just still looking as I'm flying over. So I'm about to cut away. Because I don't really need to uh, torture you with me flying for two days in a row. But... I just thought, you know, I'd hang with you for a second, just in case we get a better option on our wolves. If I see a higher level one, I'm going to go ahead and drop that wolf right there, the one on the screen, and I'll pick up the new one. So when I rejoin you, we'll be back at the base, I think, at the uh, workshop. Cat is unimpressed as we are coming back into the workshop area. I've seen several Quetzals now just between flying over to the snowy area and coming back, so... It is kind of Quetzal City out there. I think single level walls are going to work. If not, I'm going to feel like a fool. Here we go. You guys, you just chill over there. You don't need to do anything. There we go. Yeah, I built a taming pen. You knew I was going to do it at some point, right? You had to know. Hi, dog. So we got a dog sticking its nose out through the door. Let's go ahead and shoot it in the face. See how many it's going to need. I want to guess uh, one. One is about right. Skyline here has a bunch of cooked prime meat on her. You know what? Here, let's, um, before we do that, because theoretically, uh, well, here, let me, let me take a quick look. What are we looking at in terms of, ah, uh, we got all the time in the world. Let's do this. Here, let's do it the fun way. Let's do it the fun, efficient way. I think I've run out of cooked food. <laughs> I think I'm all down to, to berries and things. Oh uh, yeah, by the way, I kind of mentioned on the last episode I was looking for rare mushrooms and rare flowers. I spent a little time chopping down some swamp trees at the end of the last episode, so there you go. Got a couple of rare mushrooms, so that's kind of cool. We can talk about making some mind wipe tonic in the near future, so let me just grab a couple berries first. I should probably instead just go cook some food, but ah, eh, this is quick. It's easy, and I don't have to wait for it. I can just do it. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and slam number nine as I run. And then we will put you down there. And I will continue to slam number nine. And I will get more food. And we'll continue to slam number nine. And if you don't know what I'm going to be doing, let me give you a quick hint. Oh, 
I guess we should have used that one. Here, let's use that one. And we'll use number nine again. We're going to go grab Norman. Pause. And we're going to go get some fresh prime meat. Ah. Norman's pretty awesome when it comes to gathering fresh prime meat. You know, megalos are pretty awesome that way. Megalos? Is that what I call them? Megalos? What is it? Mega... Hmm. Megalodon? Yeah, megalo. Mega. Megalo. Yeah. I was thinking megaloceros. I was like, that's not right. This is not a megaloceros. This is a megalodon. Anyway, if we can find something right quick, this is a really fast way to get a bunch of prime meat. That would be a coel. You're not going to give me prime meat. And if I don't find something, then I'll hop off and we can go shove all that nice cooked stuff into the dog doesn't matter too much i'm just thinking in terms of ultimate efficiency if we could go with with uh, cooked with if we could go with raw that would be the most efficient way to go and you know what i'm not really seeing anything around i mentioned maybe in the last episode two episodes ago something along those lines that i made a quick run of the area just to gather some additional raw prime meat and then cooked it up that's why i have so much actually four of that i cooked right before we started this episode because I didn't actually have that on me. Okay, I need to go get some air. Norman also needs to stop and get some stamina because I have just run him ragged. I know I'm suffering because I'm suffocating. That makes me suffer. There we go. Allow him to get some stamina back. Wow, we've really gone out that way. We've gone all the way over to Carnot Island, haven't we? Wow. All right. Well, there's one Megalodon. You might be all it takes. And if not, you're about all I'm going to get. Look at that, cat standing up. Can't really see anything because she's just kind of standing there. We'll go ahead and turn that off then. Yeah, I left that on for a good long while, didn't I? Cat! Hi! I'm getting a headbutt right now. You didn't see that. Ah, we only got two out of that. That's a shame. I am also freezing to death, so I think what I need to do is get back very quickly. And here, I'm going to go ahead and... I guess I can't use it over here. I'll try not to die. I think I'll be a little warmer out of water than I would be in water. We can hope, anyway. I know, I'm really pushing my luck, and I get it. But that's kind of my style, you know? You should know that by now. I do a lot of things that don't make sense and end up dying or that sort of thing for it. So that's just kind of how I roll. Cat, she's standing up. Look, she stands. You can't really tell what she's doing, though, but she's standing. There you go, here. See the cat. See the cat sit. Yeah, Norman is out of stamina. There you go. Got a little more. This is going to have to do for now. We'll go ahead and park Norman over here. Cat. Cat's just kind of chilling. She's kind of chilling. Kind of chilling. All right, she's chilling. Um, dang it. Norman, get off of the reef. Thank you. This is turning out to be far more painful and tedious than it needs to be. So we'll go ahead and take... You have a ton of meat on you. We'll go. We'll just take some of that. I'm going to swim over to shore. See how Skyline is doing, how the wolf is doing. Oh, look at that. We can access the wolf from out here, maybe, possibly. It looked like I could for a second. Maybe not. Whatever. I'm going to go ahead and grab that, that uh, cooked prime meat off of skyline and then let's just go ahead and dump all of this stuff on the wolf right now so there you go there's a bunch of stuff you don't need all of that you definitely don't but i'm gonna go cook myself some food before i freeze and die there we go here there now i'm not low well it's gonna say now i'm no longer cold there we go now i'm no longer cold because i'm standing by a torch there we go put that away just kind of chill here for a second or warm here for a second as the case may be Get my nice little indoor bonus. Get a little health back. Not a lot, a little bit. Look at that, slowly climbing, slowly, slowly climbing. Just gonna grab a quick bite to eat here. Here we go, that's going to help out because my food is pretty low. Wouldn't mind one more, that would actually make me feel a little better here. Slowly getting our health back. And we're going to have a dog to end this episode. So we got a cat, we got a dog, we got a bird. We got mm, a couple different kind of spinos. We got a carno. Don't have two kinds of carnos at one time we did, but no longer, of course. So you know, let's go ahead and check on the dog. Not sure if the dog will be ready. How are you doing, dog? You're coming along pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and spend my time waiting here. You don't need to wait with me. 
And then I'll come back for one last time once our dog has been tamed. And just for right now, just to be safe, there you go, have yourself one concentrated narcotic. As the sun rises on another day, our dog will soon no longer be a stray. Ha! How's that for a rhyme? Pretty terrible, I know. It's all right. There we go. We got a dog. We're not going to call it Wah. We're going to call it Direwolf for the time being. Oh, look at that. You are ready to be... There you go. You get 2.5% more movement speed because you really kind of need that. Let's see if I can pick the dog up. Come here, dog. All right. Drop the dog. And we are pretty much done with this episode. Look at that. We got ourselves a dog. I like that because we can ride this one without a saddle. Yeah. Let's take a look at your stats. Ooh, you have a good chunk of health already. Your melee is going to need to be raised. There is no question about that. You're also going to need a bunch more health. You're going to need uh, quite a few things, really. I wouldn't mind getting some more movement speed, maybe even some more weight. But for the time being, I think it'll be fine. So we'll go ahead and kill this Parasaur right here because that is how we roll and get maybe this dog a level. Ah, close but no cigar, but we got a lot of hides. We have a new hide harvester that is pretty easy to hop on and off of and run around. So this is where we're going to wrap this episode up. What am I going to be doing with this? Well, you're going to have to wait and... <laughs> that was almost like a dodo cannon the way it just flew. You're going to have to wait until the next episode to find out what the reason is for getting a dog specifically, because yes, this is a rather specific tame. Woof, 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 woofity, woof. So we will be getting, or I will be trying to get the dog a little bit of experience between now and then, but uh, it's probably honestly going to be a, another episode or two before I'm really ready to tell you why I got a dog specifically. But just the same. I think we had a good time with this one. I know I did, and I hope you did too. So I will catch you on the next episode. Don't forget to thumbs up, thumbs down, say goodbye to Cat. Bye, Cat. Can you say bye? Nah, she doesn't want to say goodbye. Anyway, catch you on the next episode. Till then, thanks for watching. See you later.